I'm here in Michigan, USA at the Steinbauer National Office to get answers about the Steinbauer power modules which can be installed on marine engines. Hi Talisha, welcome to Michigan. I am sitting here with Sherry who is the site manager for Steinbauer in the United States and she is just going to run us through three of the questions that you might have if you are looking at installing the Steinbauer power modules on your marine diesel engines. There are various tuning technologies out there on the market for engines and not all of them are safe for your engine. That's correct. So how is it that the Steinbauer power modules differ from something like the rail pressure boxes? So I guess that the, the main difference is, is how Steinbauer approaches adding more horsepower is the same way a manufacturer does. So a manufacturer will have one engine which they will certify in multiple horsepower ranges. Um, in order to get additional power, they just change the mapping on that particular engine. We follow the same principle. We only add additional fuel when the engine is under load and only at the end of main injection. A rail pressure box, for instance, it will inject fuel throughout the fuel delivery system, which creates stress and load and wear uh, on your injectors. The other type of, of tuning that is that is out there is ECU tuning. Um, it has become commonplace in the marine industry where the, these flash tuners will ask you to send in your ECU. You don't know what they're going to do to your ECU in order to get you extra power. Uh, and the vast majority of both the rail pressure and your ECU flash tuning, in order to achieve the additional delivery of fuel to give people power, they end up doing things that are perhaps not always good downstream for the engine. We literally are a plug and play downstream. We talk to the ECU like you and I are having a conversation now. And then I sense that the engine is under load so we can deliver a little bit more fuel to give you that extra horsepower. So something that you just touched on mm -hmm. is the footprint on the ECU and how some of the other methods, they do leave a footprint. Yes. Do the Steinbauer modules leave a footprint or an indicator on your ECU that the manufacturer can then detect? No. no. There, is, there is no footprint left on the ECU because we are, we're plug and play, we're downstream, and we're not affecting anything outside normal parameters. So with a rail pressure box, it increases the rail, so when a technician comes out there to plug in to, to do a diagnostic on your engine, they're able to see that, that that rail pressure was increased outside what the parameter should normally be. We have the 40H45 mm -hmm. Yamas mm -hmm. with the sign bow modules. Mm -hmm. If a Yamaha technician were to plug into our engine and look at the diagnostics, Unless we told him, he's not going to know we have he, a sign he, he wouldn't see anything. Okay. So, and it's it's because we're following the same principle as the manufacturer. We're not doing anything outside any safety parameters that will leave a footprint or that that they will know. Literally, the only time a technician knows that a Steinbau module has been installed is when he gets out to. I have one here. When he gets out to your engine bay and you have this sitting on there. Yeah. So then what would your advice be to people who have the Steinbauer modules if they want to maintain the manufacturer's warranty seamlessly? Like for example, us with the Yamaha. Okay. If you have a technician that's coming out, you simply just <laughs> unplug the module, you can leave the wiring harness installed and you just remove the module and put it in the saloon, put it out of the way. The technician leaves, you literally just plug it back in. That's it. Yeah. That's the simplest thing to do. We recommend that um, simply as a precaution because every every different techni every technician is different with their interpretation um, and things change around the world. Sometimes people don't know what something is or should they touch it or shouldn't they. We just recommend to people simply un you know unclick the module, put it inside, out of the way. The technician comes, they do their service, everything looks standard. If they plug their computer in, they're not going to see anything. When they leave, plug it back in. Yeah, so it's just more about, it's not that it voids your warranty, it's more about just avoiding any confusion with a technician who yes. doesn't know what this thing is. Yes, because I, you know, are. often the, the first reaction to any aftermarket product that's installed, regardless of whether it's tuning or whether it's an aftermarket turbo or there's different things, 
the the automatic reaction is well it's an aftermarket product so it it must have caused the issue rather than really what the issue could be so we just like to remove that question from the equation really as a u.s based customer um, u.s consumers have what's called the magnuson moss law and basically that protects consumers purchasing aftermarket products and, and installing them on engines it was devised primarily for the car industry, but it does apply across the board. So if you install an aftermarket product and then the manuf manufacturer comes back to you and says, no, the reason that it failed is because of the aftermarket product, you actually have the right to defend yourself by getting an independent engineer's report, um, which is something that you know Steinbauer will, will help do. We can send out an independent technician, have an independent engineer inspect it, at this stage, we've not had a situation where, when we actually investigated that our module was to blame, we've not experienced you know, engine failures, we've not have it, had any issues with those because of the way we approach adding more power and torque. Yeah. So Steinbauer has been on the market since 1996. Um, we have a bricks and mortar, full development. All of our products are man manufactured and designed by us in-house. We don't buy something from overseas and then bring it in. It's made by us and in the US we have our own like US office. It's a US base. We have technical support that runs out of here, customer service. Everything is done from the office here. So if you do have a problem or you have a question, because you know questions always come up, there is an actual physical person that you can speak to. It's not that you send an email online form yeah. into the abyss and hope that someday somebody will get back to you. Um, it's also important for, for, for customers to know that the company owner and director, he uses and tests these products on his own personal vehicles, boat, yeah. etc. It's, yeah. it's a tried and tested product and we do that from, from motor vehicles through to agriculture, machinery, construction, boats. You know, we're surrounded by farmland here in Michigan. Yeah. So you can't throw a stone and, and not hit a piece of agricultural equipment that doesn't have a Steinbauer installed on yeah. it. There's a lot. So it's not as if you're, you're not taking a risk, like I said, on a, a cheap product that you buy off the internet that mm. you don't know who made it. And maybe if you need help with warranty or you have a question, you know, people are, we're actually here to answer those questions. Yeah. So we've yeah. always supported our product regardless of whatever corner of the world that it's in. Yeah.